three years ago, I made this video and this explained how you can be able to connect two different Remy software using your Ethernet cable. This is an updated version of this particular tutorial. And the amazing thing is we're not going to be using Ethernet cable. We're going to be using the Vmix NDI features. There's one we're going to be using to link two different Vmix or three different Vmix or four different Vmix to get that. Don't also forget that drop the consultation link in the description of this video. You could also use that to reach out and have a private conversation with me. Thank you very much and let's dive in. the system or desktop that you're going to be running the Remy software on to the same Wi-Fi. It can be the same router. I mean, just make sure they are connected to the same network. And that's just basically the thing. And that's the picture right here on the screen. They just have something displayed here. And on this system, the one we're going to be using to send in our output to other um, PCs that are running the Remy software on. Now go ahead and click at the top of the screen here on the settings. Click on that. Just give some seconds for this to pop up. And then once that does, just go ahead and click on the output and NDI SRT. Now on the one here, you see the output. And let's say for example, you want, you don't want to send out your VMIS output. You have like a specific file or maybe like a picture that you want to send out. You just click on this output here. Over you can see one, two, three, four, five. Now over here on the VMIS software, we have one there, two there. And this is how VMIS labels all your inputs. Like how you have and be up to 100, can be up to 200, depending on how many inputs you have on the VMIS software. Now, find out that particular uh, number of the input that you want to send out specifically. If you want to send out your VMIS output, which is whatever thing you have on this box, and this is your VMIS output here, the one with the green line on the top of it, and the one here with the orange line here, eat your VMIS preview window, where you kind of take a look at the things you want to send out your output for your audience to see. If you want to send out your output over here, leave it on the output. If you want to send out a specific input, find out the number and select that from this drop down menu on the screen here. Now, in this case, I'm sending out the VMIS output, select that. And over here on the NDI button, see it's off, on. It's showing on, make sure it's turned on. The rest are not really necessary. So just off this second one here. And then stick to the first one. Now, once this NDI here is turned on, click on the OK on the VMI software, and this will close the software. Now, you go over to the system that is going to be receiving. Make sure that the two systems are connected to the same Wi-Fi. If they are not connected to the same Wi-Fi, you won't be able to see that. Now, another way to test it to make sure that it's actually sending is to go over to the system that is sending and click on this Add button here at the bottom of the screen. Just give it some second and then go over to this NDI and desktop capture. This is the VMIS output here. See the output to run, meaning that the signal is sending. We successfully sent. So the receiver system should be able to see this. And let's say, for example, this is the system that is receiving. And you go over to the, that particular system that is going to be receiving the VMIS outputs. Click on this add button here by the side. And then you go over to the NDI and desktop caption here. You should be able to see this VMIS output one here. You should be able to see it there. And once you see that, click on it, click on OK. And you can see here I have the same thing as one and two. Now let's say, for example, you want to send a specific input and you don't want to send out your output. Now let's bring in this picture here. This one. Let's bring in this picture here. And this is number three now go over to the settings on the vmi software that is sending just click, just click on that and then go over to the output ndi and srt and over here where you have the output one and find out the particular number of the input which is three here now on the output here click on that and let's set it on three i want to set it on three click on ok and make sure that the NDI is turned on. You can see this image here have changed to this third one here. See, so meaning whatever thing I'm projecting to my VMIS output, they won't see it on the receiver system. What they are going to be seeing is that specific input that I've selected 
on the sender system. And that is the only thing that they will be seeing. And this is how to link two different VMAs or three different VMAs together using your Wi-Fi connection or using the NDI tools on the VMA software. All right. So even if you connect your Ethernet cable, it's the same thing. You use the Wi-Fi connection, it's still the same thing. And just make sure that the boot system or other system that you want to be you want to send the image output to are connected to the same network and you are good to go. If you find the video helpful, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and also drop a positive comment and let YouTube know you are happy with what we are producing here on the Poteki YouTube channel. Remember, I've dropped the consultation link in the description of this video. You could also use that to reach out to me and let's have a private conversation about some of the challenges that you are having and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you very much and see you on the next one.